You um, continually have said. And I will do what I have to do to make that right. On you um, continually have said you have work to do. Are you getting help and are you dealing with like anger management issues or therapists or how, how are you going to work through this? Uh, <laughs> I think we all in life have anger management issues because we all have buttons that can be pushed. And so I am working on myself regardless. Um, I am working on um, Draymond Green is a constant work in process is a very flawed individual and so um i will continue to work on me as i always am and that won't change uh that is if you're not getting better you're getting worse and if you're not working to get better you can only get worse and so for me i'm always working to improve i'm always working to improve obviously from a basketball perspective but more importantly than that, I am always working to improve myself. And, um, you know, this is no anger management issue. Like, man, you just can't control yourself and you lash out and you, like, again, I know that, you know, um, with the way the video that you saw is cut is, is, is as such to where I essentially walked into practice and did what I did. And I take that very seriously um, because hurt people hurt people. And I was in a, a very um, contentious space that morning of dealing with some things that's very near and dear to me. And I hurt someone because I was in a place of hurt. And for that, um, I've apologized and you know, you apologize with words, uh, but ultimately your actions show your apologies. And so uh, I've apologized with my words uh, to my team, like I said, to Jordan. And now I will allow my actions to show my apology moving forward. Draymond, you've kind of, I guess, been alluding to this, but I mean, you, your fire is something that this team sees as a positive attribute. There have been dust ups or stuff in the past. But this one, does it does this one just feel different than other you know the arguments or fights that may have come up in the past uh, it feels different because um number one number one everything that's fresh feels different you know so when something is brand new it'll always feel different um number two because someone else was affected and so because someone else was affected to me personally, it feels different. Uh, I think the thing, one of the things that make me happy in life uh, is making other people happy. That's something that I enjoy, um, to see other people smile, to see someone doing well, to help someone do better. Um, I get a lot of joy out of that, hence the fact, and winning my last three championships, I get more joy out of watching the guys who win it first, like their first one. I, that brings me more joy than anything. Um, watching someone do, watching someone do well and succeed brings me more joy than my personal uh, successes. And so from that standpoint, it's absolutely different because someone someone else was affected in a major way and so that makes it different um ultimately at some point with this team my goal is and my job is to make sure that it is a bump in the road that we all get through and and that's the work that I am doing. Uh, that's the work that I'll continue to ramp up as see fit. You know, you don't just ramp that up right away uh, because that won't be fixed in a day. You know, it, it may not be fixed in a week. It may not be fixed in a month. And so as we move forward, I'll continue to ramp up that work that I'm doing on that front uh, as it's more tolerable. You know, when some, when things first happen, it's just not as tolerable. Uh, 
because you're still working through those initial emotions, you're still working through the initial reactions, you know, you're, you're still working through all of those things. So, um, you know, that's, that's where it differs. Uh, and, you know, however, like I said, it, it, that's where it differs. But my job as a leader, uh, my job as a winner um, is to do all that I can to make it where in April, May, and June, that it was a bump in the road for this team that we got over and we rolled on our way. Jeremiah, we've seen you have this like fun, good relationship with Jordan and then obviously the incident happening. Could you clarify like how you feel about Jordan Poole? I love Jordan Poole. That's my guy. Um, you know, I like I said to Jordan, I will still ride for Jordan. I still advocate for Jordan. I will still do anything that I can to make Jordan's job easy, to make Jordan look good, to get him the things that he want out of basketball that I can help from a teammate's perspective. That's that. Uh, my feelings towards Jordan does not change. Uh, it's a reason Jordan's locker is next to mine. Uh, from day one, you know, and that has changed a little bit. That dynamic has changed a little bit. It's on me to make that right and get it back, you know, but as far as my feelings for Jordan goes, um, you know, I'm the guy who supported Jordan when he was sent to the G League bubble and no one thought he had a chance. You know, I'm the guy calling him, hey, man, you should be doing this or good game, calling Weems. Hey, Weems, I just heard this. Is this true? Weems saying, yeah. Uh, all right, let me call Jordan and figure this out. You know, I, that's me. You know, um, that don't change, uh, you know, at all. Love don't, my love is real. You know, love don't just go by the wayside. My love is there, you know, and my love ain't going nowhere. So I will continue to support him, help him where I can, um, lead him, uh, and in saying that, like I said, I know leading comes with a responsibility that I that I drop the ball on and, and you have to you have to um rebuild the trust in that. But if I see Jordan doing something wrong, I'm gonna help Jordan. Because that's the right thing to do. And if you don't care about Jordan, you don't help. You just watch him do it wrong. You know, so um my love for Jordan don't change one bit. Continue to move forward, continue to do all I can to help him. And as far as, like I said, as far as a personal relationship goes, we will figure that out as we go, as he's ready on his terms or not. You know, um, that is solely up to Jordan. But as far as my love for Jordan, um, that don't change one bit. What did you think of the fact that the video did leak? And then after, I'm sure you watched it, just, you know, watching yourself in that moment. Like, what did you think? Um, What did I think of the fact that a video leaking? If I'm being 100% honest, I thought it was shit. You know, uh, no, no other video leaks from practice. You know, uh, uh, when we're working on our sets, they don't leak. You know, when we're, um, you know, when, when I'm coaching everyone up, that doesn't leak. You know, so uh, I thought I thought it was that the video leaked. Um, and saying that, what did I think of myself in the moment? I watched the video 15 times, maybe more. Um, because when I watched the video, I'm looking at the video. And I'm like, yo, this looks awful. Like, this looks even worse than I thought it was. It's pathetic. You know, and then I had to take a step back, too, and realize that this video was actually released this way to look that way, you know? Um, for whoever released the video, I don't know who released the video. Um, I am very thankful to the Warriors organization for taking it as serious as they have and launching the investigation that they have um, because, quite frankly, they don't have to. You know, they're not they're not obligated to, to launch an investigation. Um, or something that I did wrong, you know, they're, they're not obligated to do that. So I appreciate uh, them taking that as serious as they have um, and are doing, but for whoever leaked the video, <clears throat> it did the same thing to me that is intended to do to the world. Um, you know, 
It's an audio list video. Uh, it's a video that cuts to me walking right to him, you know? And so the video serves the purpose that it was supposed to serve. Um, and it had me in the same mind state of like, wow, this is terrible. This is awful. And by the way, it is terrible and it is awful. Like just because of the way the video is cut up and is not released with audio and all of those things, what I did was wrong, you know? So regardless of the video leaking or not, regardless of how the video was leaked um, with audio or without audio, I was wrong. And so I accept that um, and I will move forward with that. But in saying that, you asked my thoughts of what I thought of the video, and those are my thoughts. I was wrong for my actions that took place on Wednesday. And for that, um, you know, I have apologized to my team. Um, I have apologized to Jordan. And, you know, um, I wanted to take that a step further. Uh, you know, with, with the event yesterday, uh, with the video leaking, um, there's a, there is a, a um, huge embarrassment that comes with that. Not not only for myself, as 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 I was the one that committed the action. The embarrassment that comes for me uh, is what it is, and that's something that I have to deal with. But the embarrassment uh, that Jordan has to deal with, and that this team has to deal with, that this organization has to deal with, but also uh, Jordan's family. You know, uh, his family saw that video. Um, his mother, his father saw that video. And quite frankly, if, if my mother saw that video, I know how my mother would feel. I know what her next react, I know what her reaction would be and I know what her next step would be. And so for that, I apologize to his mother and his father and you know his family, his friends uh, that care for him uh, because that is a, that is a, a sense of, or a level of embarrassment that they have to deal with too. Um, I apologize to this organization. You know, we, we, we just won a championship uh, in nine days, 10 days, there will be a ring ceremony. My family will be here. His family will be here. I'm sure they'll be here. And quite frankly, that's an elephant in the room. That's something that, uh, you know, it, it's weird, you know, and on, on a night where it should be um, celebration and love, and it still will be. Um, but there is like this, this, this dark cloud in the room and I caused that, you know, so I, I apologize to, to his family, uh, and just what they've had to deal with over the course of the last 24 to 48 hours. And I will do what I have to do to make that right.